first Swings in newsletter in preparation for Hullabaloo, we'll be showing you a few tips and tricks. I'll be showing you how to do some fabulous burritos. And my name is Jethro, and I'll be showing you on how to tie this uh, decorative bow tie. All right, let's get to it. Hi. So we're going to be doing a little bit of headscarf stuff today. Um, now headscarves, you've got a million and one different options. You've got really long silky ones. You've got ones with a little bit more structure in them. You've got some uh, thinner materials that make bigger bows. Um, you want to choose a whole variety, whichever one you want, which suits your outfit or what you want to do. The one I'm going to do today um, is a burrito. So burritos are specific types that are designed by Miss Ruby Slippers. Um, she's got an amazing store, an Etsy store called Glamporium. I recommend you go jump on there. Uh, the one I'll be using tonight is this black and white one, um, which is a really nice thin material which really holds its shape nicely. So, um, first things first, before we even start with our burrito, you want to make sure that whatever you're doing with the front part of your hair is done. So if that's a victory roll or a quiff or anything like that, you really want to make sure that it's um, pinned in and really quite forward because you want to leave space for the headscarf in the back. Once you've done that and you have your burrito, you are going to hold it um, midway because you want the middle bit to sit on the nape of your neck in the back and you're just going to wrap your head like so and then scrunch up in your right and your left the two bits of fabric. Now here we're going to do a knot whether you go which kind of knot is really up to you. What I'm going to do is I'm going to bring my right hand over my left and pull through underneath to create my knot. And then when you pull your knot tightly, you want to pull it slightly to the left so that it's not sitting directly in the center, but slightly to your left. Now, this is the point where if you want to pin things down with bobby pins, you want to pin sort of down here at the nape of the neck and here at the temples. Don't worry too much about how you pin them because this is just to hold the burrito in place. You can adjust placement of the bobby pins later to accommodate, you know, glasses and things like that. Um, so once that's sort of pinned in comfortably, you want to pull forward like this and then re-tighten the burrito. You also want to use this opportunity to make sure that the colored bit of the fabric is what's showing through. So if you need to, mine's okay, but if you need to sort of flip material around, this is where you would do that. Great. Nailing it. So next bit, what you want to do is you want to grab the right side of the fabric and you want to make a loop. Now you want to make sure you're holding this with your elbow down. It'll just make the next bit easier. You also, again, want to make sure that the colored bit of the fabric is what's showing. So now with your left hand, you're going to grab a spare bit of fabric. You're going to wrap around towards the back of your head, loop around the loop that you've made, and now you will have created a little hole here between your thumb and the fabric. So this hole here, that's what you're going to pull the fabric through from underneath and pull into a bow. Nailing it. Yes. Right, so from here, this will be entirely up to you of the final shape that you want to create. What you want to do, use bobby pins, have fun in the mirror, and you want to sort of stretch out your bow, make it into a more bowy, type shape, if that's the final shape you want to go with. Remembering that the tighter your bow, so the less um, material there is in the actual loop, the more it'll hold its shape. If you've got a very big loop, it has a tendency to be very floppy, which is fine if you've got a material that's very um, uh, stiff. But if you've got something that's a bit thinner, like the ones that we're using today, you're going to want to keep a relatively tight bow so that you can hold it in place. Now, with extra bits of floppy material, it's entirely up to you how you want to get, assume the final shape. You can just, you know, wrap things around, you can pin things back like this. So bobby friends, bobby pins are your friends here. Bobby friends! Bobby friends! <laughs> you are nailing this! So yeah, so maybe, you know, less of a pirate look. It'll match the bow tie. Oh, um, thank you. <laughs> so yeah, you can sort of pin things back, use fascinators, use flowers. For me, more is better. 
Um, I like to use burritos and flowers and all of the things. Um, but obviously the main thing is you want it to hold to your head, you know, have a bit of a jump around, see if it's going to stay in place because while you're dancing, you don't want, you know, a, a floppy burrito, so to speak. Yeah! And that's your head scars for Hello Blue. Alright, it is now time for a bow tie. So the bow ties that we're using are a single bit of fabric that has a fancy end, a long bit, and a fancy end over here. Uh, some of them will have an adjustment bit in the middle here, uh, either clips or buttons to make it longer or shorter depending on your neck width. Uh, but because these were custom made, these were homemade, uh, I know what size I want, so I just made them to fit me. They do come in different uh, fabrics, patterns and sizes, you do get different shapes here as well. Uh, and that just mainly depends on your face shape and as well as what collar you're wearing. Uh, there's a whole like science to it, so jump on Google and have a look at that. I'm not going to get into it here, we'll just go on how to tie it. Time for the bow tie. Ready, Charlotte? Nailing it. <laughs> so the first thing we're going to do is find the middle of the bow tie, check on your back, keeping everything nice and flat, so make sure there's no twist or anything. Uh -huh. From here, the left side, we're going to make it a little bit lower, so make it a little bit longer up down the left. Yep. Perfect. Now, just to do a quick uh, biology lesson, this is a fish shape. And the tail, we've got the gap between the tail and the body, the body and the mouth. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to have the long end, this left side, is going to cross over top near the fish's mouth, the underneath fish's mouth. We're then going to come up, under, oh. like so. You got it? Nailing it. Perfect. Now if we give it a nice pull so that it sits nice and tight, obviously you want to still be able to breathe and have circulation, but that's what we've got here. Now the one hand holding at the top, uh, we're going to be pirates for a second. Arr. Arr. <laughs> Put it where your parrot would be. Arr. Where's the look like? Alright, and we're now left with just this one fish here. Now this time we're going to try and get the gap between the tail and the body mm -hmm. to sit right in the middle. Mm -hmm. So to get to that point, get your index finger, check up over the body of the fish, right in the fat part there, and then fold it so it comes across. Mm -hmm and sits nice in the middle. Alright, grab your uh, bit that's your parrot, ah. chuck it over the top, making an elephant. <laughs> so while I've got this, we have got... Today's lesson brought to you by Zoology. From here, we should have a loop on the right and the tail on the left. Got it, Shah? Yes. Awesome. Alright. So onto this. So what we've got here, we're going to grab the ears of the elephant, Wait, which ear? Both ears. Both ears, yep, yeah, okay. And bring them together, so they're right. folding together. Got pinching it. that middle bit. Okay. Sweet. Alright, now, behind this whole knot, there should actually be a hole going all the way through in the back there. Mm -hmm. You got it? Yep, yep, yep. Awesome, okay. So we're going to try and get this end to go through that hole. Uh, there are ways to do it, just nice and easy and stuffing it through. This is a bit more of a fancier way of doing it. We're going to use our right hand to make a little mouth over that fish's body. So form that fish right in half. We've got this mouth here. Now you're going to bring the bottom jaw up and twist. Mm -hmm. And now the top corner here is what's going to go through that hole. So once again, I'm falling it up. Twisting, and it's the top corner going through this hole here. So try to put just the loop through. And this gets a little bit tricky. <laughs> Sorry. Now again. And we should have a loop coming through that hole in the back. So Look at that. Loop. Now you're gonna pull the loops. So you got the front loop is on the right, and the back loop is on the left. Give them a bit of a pull. Give the tails a bit of a pull. Make sure it's nice and even, give it a fold. Have a look in the mirror, make sure it's nice and even. And once it's nice and even, once it's nice and sitting the way you want it, you have your bow tie. Yay! Good job. And that concludes uh, this tutorial on how to tie uh, burritos and bow ties. We look forward to seeing you on the dance floor with said burritos and bow ties. And uh, keep an eye out for our new video in the next newsletter coming up next month.
Cheers.